So to make this, this beautiful design, what we're gonna need is four different colors. Making a medium and a um, bra cup B. B to maybe, maybe a small C, okay? Uh, and then on the pattern I'll be sharing uh, instructions to make in a smaller or bigger size. So I'll be using around 150 grams of yarn. Okay, and for this pattern as well, I'm going to be using the hook number 0 or 2.1 millimeters. You can probably still use all the way to 2.5 for this project, from 2 to 2.5, no, there's no problems. And uh, this is a 4-ply cotton, okay? So I'm going to start making the African flower. The second one, we're going to be making two of them. And uh, to do that, I'm going to make the magic ring. I just make it like this. I thought it was really easy this way. And it always works. So, okay, so twist it on. Wrap around your finger twice. Put the hook through. Pull it. Twist it. And then just make a chain. Okay, and that, that after this, we're going to make three chains and then double crochet. Okay, this is going to count as the first one of these clusters. We are going to make um, we're going to make six and three chains in between. So chain three, and then now we are going to make a double crochet and another one halfway to make them together. Chain three, and I'm gonna repeat again. One, two, and then make it together. One, two, three, and then repeat that, repeat this three more times. Now, to finish this first row, we're gonna slip stitch in that third chain from the beginning. Just slip stitch and then you can cut the yarn. And then change to the next color. And then we're gonna be working this row in this little... The, in, on top of the chains. So just put the hook through any of them. Make your slip knot and chain one, and then chain two, double crochet one, chain one, two, three, and then we are going to double crochet two inside the same chains. They are not made together, they are just double crochets. Okay. And then two more on the next one. One, two, three. And two more. Double crochet. And then on to the next one. We're gonna repeat this so we have six clusters of this stitch. So now you're going to finish this row with a slip knot in that second chain from the beginning. And then you're gonna make a single crochet on that next few chains just to start this next row which is we're gonna be using this same color and you're gonna chain two to start the row after that we're gonna make six more double crochets this row is very easy it's just double crochet inside on top of the chains of each one of the spaces you have underneath. 
So two, four, five, six, seven. And then onto the next one, the two chains on the beginning, they count as a stitch. So that's why I made six and now I'm going to make seven. And these are gonna be the petals of my flower. Finish this row with a um, slip stitch in that second chain from the beginning. So this next row we're gonna start, you can start in the middle of any of the, of any of your petals. If I slip knot. And we're gonna be working only single crochets in this row. So put it through any of the stitches, chain one, and then you can work on top of this tail. Just single crochet all the way to the middle here. So you're gonna single crochet in each one of the stitches. And then when you get here in the middle, that's when we're gonna make this little design here. We're gonna make a long single crochet. I put it through this stitch here, right in the middle. And then pull it. Bring the yarn all the way to where it's leveled up with the, the other stitches and then single crochet it. And then on this very next one that's kind of hidden underneath, you're gonna single crochet as well. You have one in each double crochet. It's very important to get it right, otherwise the next row is gonna be wrong. And so just repeat this row around. You should have six of these stitches when you finish. Now make one stitch in that very last stitch and then just slip stitch on the next one. And cut the yarn off. Now the, this next row is probably the hardest one. Um, we're gonna be working with this off-white collar. So, um, just start in the middle in one of these stitches here. Put the hook through and make that slip knot. And then pull it. And then we're gonna single crochet, chain one. And then single crochet. For five, four stitches, four. Now we have to have, this is the middle one, we need to have one, two, three before that, okay? So we made four single crochets and now we are going to make a half double crochet in the very next stitch. And this is gonna be our first corner. Next stitch is gonna be a um, double crochet. And the very next one is gonna be a treble. So two loops on your hook. One, two, three. And then another treble right in the middle here. One, two, three. Chain two. And then we're gonna repeat the same thing to make this first corner here. So now we're gonna make one more treble in this same one. That same stitch, another treble on the next stitch. A double and a half double. And then we're going to single crochet all the way to here. So it's gonna be straight here. So you're gonna have nine single crochets in between these corners. 
and then we're gonna repeat this same corner again, half double. And then another treble and repeat this same thing here. And that's gonna make our, that's gonna start our triangular shape. If you want four, if you want squares really easy, just start with eight here. And then you're gonna have four at the end, four corners at the end here, in case you want to make a square out of it. Finish this row with a slip stitch, and a slip stitch. Okay, slip stitch, and then chain two to go to the next row, which is gonna be only double crochets, okay? We're just gonna make the corners different, but all the rest is gonna be one double crochet in each stitch. Until we reach that first corner. If you need, you can put markers here, but because you have the chains, it's quite easy to see. And then here, what we're going to do is double crochet two. It's like a shell stitch. And then chain two. And double crochet two more inside on top of that chains. And then double crochet across in each stitch. Okay, so this is the next row. It's a very easy row. And we're gonna make one more of this after this one. And just so you know, I have 20 sti 21 stitches all the way from On the last stitch, I'm just gonna... Um, just gonna slip stitch in that second chain from the beginning and then I'm going to chain two and repeat the same row same exact row but here in these corners on the corners instead of making two double crochets with two chains and two other double crochets I'm going to double crochet one chain two and double crochet one okay that's everything I'm gonna change for this next row and the other row as well. So I have two more rows of this. I'm just gonna change the color for this one, okay? So just repeat two more rows. And uh, and then we are going to make this pink row, which is a bit different. Right now is the time to try it on, on yourself and see if this is enough for you before you make this next row because um, these are the rows you're gonna repeat in case you want a larger size. And then as you repeat these rows, you can actually repeat in any color you prefer or just make another one of this color, whatever you really like. I'm going to start in any of the corners here with a slip knot and a slip stitch. Then I'm going to chain two and double crochet in that same uh, chain. Then I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to skip one and double crochet two together like we did on that first row, remember? We're gonna have three loops, make them together, chain one and then skip one underneath. Oops. Two together. Chain one, skip one. Repeat. Now, for the corners, what you're gonna do is you're gonna double crochet two together, chain two and double crochet two together, all in chain here, okay? So I'm getting to that first corner, double crochet two together, chain two and double crochet 
to other stages together. Chain one, skip one, repeat. Now to finish this corner, all you have to do is double crochet two together on top of the chains, chain two and slip stitch in that second chain. Now, um, after this one, I decided to make one more row and that's because I thought it was a bit small for me, so that's why I'm making another row and that shows you how easily it is to increase. So I'm starting this with two chains and then I'm just gonna repeat the row underneath this one. Just two double crochets together in chain and then chain one, skip these two and repeat. So I'm doing that all the way to the next corner. And then I'm gonna show you because I make this I made the straps here, okay, in this last one. So if um if this number of rows all the way to the pink color are enough for you, make sure you make this strap before you finish in one of the corners. I'm gonna show you right now, uh, after I finish this, how to make it. But make it on the last row, so uh, after that you can finish it off with the last row on top of it, okay? The last row, I'll be making only single crochets with a picot stitch on top of it. So we need to have that base of chains to just cover it up with the last row. So make the first two double crochets together for this um, string to the top and then just chain 100. Going that way and then we'll come back making another stitch on the way back. But it's 100 of this, so you can tie on your neck. Now we made 100 chains, and then you're gonna count one, two, three, four of these little loops, and on the way in the fourth one, you're gonna single crochet one, and then you're gonna chain one, skip the next one and into the next one. Skip one into the next one. Skip one to the next one. All the way into you are back here. And then once you're back here, you're just gonna keep making this row with two double crochets together in the same corner here and all around it all the way to the end. Okay, now that we have both uh, triangle tops ready, what we're gonna do to measure this next step is we're gonna place one of them right on top of our breast and then we're gonna see where this corner ends uh, underneath your armpit, okay? Because it's gonna end somewhere in that area when you put on top of your body. And then from that place, which for me was right in the middle of my armpit. For from that place to uh, you had you need to measure from that place to the middle of your back, but one inch before the middle of your back. So um, around one inch and a half from the middle of your back, because you want it to be a little smaller. Because when you tie on the back, you want you want this top to be tied. So it can't go all the way to the to the middle of your back. Well, in my so in my situation I had from here to here I had 14 centimeters from underneath my arm to just before the middle of my back. And so I made a foundation with this same size. Okay, which is was 30 stitches for me. So 30 chains I have here. And now I'm going to start joining these two parts together. Make sure the straps are to the top and you want to 
go and join right in this next corner after the one that has the strap because remember you want the strap to going up so after the 30 chains that I made I'm going to single crochet here and then single crochet in each stitch across so right here in this next corner when I got here I just chained eight so eight chains in between both of your breasts and um, make sure both strings are facing up and then join with the next corner with a single crochet and single crochet across again So I made my 30 chains here and you made whatever number of centimeters you, had, you measured on yourself. And this part of, uh, is actually really important that you get it right, otherwise at the end when you close your, your top on the back it would be too loose or too tight. It's probably better too tight than too loose. But anyway, um, made my 30 chains, it has to be the same number you had on the other side because both sides have to have the same size so now what I'm doing is I'm making a stitch that looks like a, a braid okay because I want it kind of a braid, a thick braid here underneath so I'm going to make this row with this collar and the next with I think this collar so after 30 skip three one two three and in the fourth one we are going to make one double crochet two double crochet together chain two and then single crochet in that same stitch again oops Single crochet here. Now again we are going to skip one, two this time and in that third one we are going to double crochet two together and then chain two single crochet in that same stitch. We are going to repeat this row all the way to the other side. I left the tail open because I'm going to make the next row with uh, this same yarn here. I'm just going to make a different color in the middle. So just slip knot and put the hook through. So chain one. We're going to finish this off better later. And then um, double crochet two together here then chain two single crochet here all you're gonna do on this one is um, you're gonna double crochet two together same like we did before and then chain two and single crochet in in the same chains you made the two double crochets together so double crochet two together in that space in the chains there and then chain two and single crochet in that same place that way as you can see it's looking like a little braid and then the last row we're gonna go again in that same direction with the other color so finish this row on this side here just with a slip stitch at the end and now because I already had the yarn from the other row that I didn't cut I'm just gonna put the hook through this first stitch here and let's pull it and then um, single crochet in this chain here this open space right next to it, and a single crochet here 
and then chain two. After chain two, you're gonna make the two double crochets together in that same space. Make them all together. And then just single crochet into the next space with the chains. Chain two and double crochet two together in that same space. And then single crochet into the next space. So this is all we're gonna do for this next row here. And then after that we're gonna start making the body of this top. And now I'm going to start working on a kind of a gradient. So I'm going to do this going down. And uh, so I'm starting with this off white now. And all I'm gonna do, and that's a very easy row, all I'm going to do is I'm going to slip stitch on the beginning, slip knot on the beginning, sorry, and then slip stitch. I'm gonna be working in this middle stitch here, this single crochet you made before. So I'm going to chain four, two, three, four, and then single crochet on top of that single crochet. One, two, three, four, single crochet here. And so repeat this across all the way to the other side. To finish this row, we are going to make two chains and then double crochet in that first stitch, the last stitch. And then we're gonna chain four to start the next row. And then we're gonna work the whole way with a long, I call a long double crochet. It is a double crochet, but what you do is put through that first stitch there, and then go once, go twice, three times. It's like a treble, but with one loop only. And then um, make one loop in your hook, but put through that second chain, bring it back, make it once, twice through one loop only, three times in the last two loops, and then chain three. Repeat through the same stitch, one, two, three. And then repeat in the next one. Here it can be on the third, uh, second or third chain, it doesn't matter. So that's what, all we're gonna be doing this row. And then the next row is gonna be very similar. I'm gonna make like three rows of this and then to start increasing after these three rows. Let's just show you guys how I finished this row. I made one stitch on top of the chain and then the next stitch in that uh, third chain from the beginning and to go up to the next row two, three, four stitches so four chains to start and now so these two, two rows were just the same the only difference is here I worked on the top of the chains instead of working inside them um, and now here I'm going to work again underneath the stitches and I'm going to make this time one Two. And to go straight to the next one, so I'll be working underneath the chains again. And this time, chain one and another two. Okay, so this is what I'm going to do in this row.
always using the long stitch, okay? So going to the next row, I already made four chains here. Then I'm just gonna make that same two stitches on the beginning. And then skip to this next shell here. I'm working always in that chains, okay? From now on. So here, instead of making one chain, going to make two, these long double crochets, two chains and another two of these long double crochets and then into the next one it's quite the same but you always have to make sure you increase one stitch in every cluster to get that that uh, shape that we want we want it to open going to the waist so it's not too tight on our waist okay so i'll be making two more of the same rows here and then i'm going to increase one stitch i'm gonna put one chain in between the clusters as well okay so i already started here i'm just repeating the same row here with the green which is the next color, so seven with this color. And then I'll make six more with this and uh, six more with this color. Okay, and I'm, I'm gonna add on the next one, I'm going to add one more chain in between the shells. Make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment. Your comments make a lot of difference for me on the searches. And it doesn't cost anything to, you know, leave a comment. And as well, this pattern is available on my pattern website, which is creativeswimwear.com. So I finished the bottom part of it with uh, 19 rows, counting this very first one and not counting this, okay? So 19 all the way from there to there. I'm gonna add an extra row here and chain. Okay, and then I'll be working this last row, one single crochet in each stitch. And here in the middle, I'm going to make a picot, which is you chain two going up, and then you double, you single crochet in the single crochet just before. And then you can either skip, I normally skip one here, and just so it's not too many stitches. And here I make another one. So I'll be just repeating this on the bottom part here. So as you can see here, I made crochet all around already. And it's the same exact stitch that I made here. And I made all around it and then working to the bottom. So I'm going to work just single crochets to go down this way. And then from here, right on the bottom here, what I'm going to make is I'm gonna chain four and then turn my work. I'm gonna skip one here and slip stitch in this next one. And then I'm gonna make four again. Chain four, skip one and slip stitch here. Then I'm going to chain one to turn. Just add a few single crochets right on top of it. Three single crochets to each one of my rows, just because it's a long stitch. So to start this trap, what I normally do, I leave like a, 
a few centimeters of yarn, let's say like 30, 40 centimeters of yarn to make a tassel after and work with double yarn, okay? So it's more thick. Slip knot to start. I, I, I like to use double yarn because it's more thick and then chain. Make chains with it. So I'll be making around 120 chains this way, 150. Just make as many as you as you need. If you want a link a longer string, just make more. And then at the end, before you cut, just leave the same long tail as well, so we can make both tassels, tassels on both ends of the string. Okay, close this off like this. And to make this tassel, all I do is, and I learned this way, to make faster uh, crochet finishings for my bikinis. So I kind of invented this way. So make a long loop, make a loop with the size you want your tassel to be, like that, around your finger, and just pull it. Mm, a little bit short. Then make another loop, pull it through the last loop. Make sure after the last one you still have enough tail to wrap around it. And now I just wrap around a few times. 